Hi beauty fam, it's been a while. I've been on the mend, so I just started using makeup again. And so I thought I'd do a really quick video. I did half of my makeup and it's almost the end of the day, but I thought I'd hop on here and finish up my makeup with some new to me makeup. So, and things I just haven't used much of. And I've been wanting to use this Chantikai beautiful, um, the Butterfly Eye Quartet. And I got this last year towards the end of the season and I never, ended up using it. So I'm going to use it today. Let me swatch it really quickly for you. Some really beautiful colors for the summer. And I think I was on the fence about this. Yes, now I know why I was on the fence because I knew that as I got deeper in the summer, I wasn't quite convinced it would actually show up. So let's see if it would show up. And if it doesn't end up being a good quad for me. I am definitely going to either sell it or pass it along. Okay, so I went in with this color here and that is showing up. That's really pretty. It's like a nice, nice brown. I'm using a BK Beauty brush 202. This is from her um, set for people with hooded eyelids or smaller eyelids. Uh, I can't remember her name, but the BK Beauty founder also has hooded eyelids. So I just wanted to really try out this set. So that's why I love those Le Le Chrome Lux duos so much. I just think they're just fantastic quality and a lot of people could use those where these are not really all that of universal shades. I mean, you're going to have to build it up a lot. Okay, so that was that color. I don't even know if this is going to show up on me. Taking a builder brush from Sonia G from the Lotus series, just going into that. And I grabbed a lot because I just want to see if it actually shows up. Okay, it comes off as like a frosty pink, but it's nothing special. A beauty set uh, from the set 207 and going into that deeper shade here the bottom corner shade and then seeing if I can just build up the color I'll look up so you can see it's very similar to the other color And I think I remember the only shade in here that was the stellar shade was this. So we'll see how this lays on top. And it's like a multi-chrome and it has blue shifts in it. Some yellow, some green in there. I'm just going to put that all over the eyelid because really that's the showstopper shade. Okay, it's really pretty. I just don't know if it's worth the money that this is marketed for. I believe it's like a $75 or $80 pa um, palette. So I grabbed another palette really quick that it reminds me of. That is a fraction of the price. And I got this in the giveaway from Bonnie. So thank you, Bonnie. I actually need to post the unboxing of that in the pictures. So I'm grabbing the ColourPop Wild Nothing palette. And I feel like a lot of these colors are like dupes of this palette, if you can see. So I don't know if these are multi-chromes, but that's very similar to that. And then these colors actually would show up more. There's definitely some browns here, some of the pinks, but these colors are definitely going to show up more uh, for, for dimension. So I almost feel like it's a dupe. Okay, so I did my eyebrows with the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil in, I don't know what shade, 4.5. And I'm curling my eyelashes and then I'm remembering what I had trouble with this quad with is that I found that the multi-chrome is really pretty, but it is also very flaky. So what I'm doing is now is grabbing my Pat McGrath Mes Intensifies Artistry Wand and then just running it over this eyelid part. 
basically this is just like a wand glitter glue but it's not glue it's just tacky so what I'm going to do is I put that tacky stick down and I'm going back in with this multi-chrome and just patting it on so that it amplifies the multi-chrome because it's this this is the showstopper shade but also it that intensifies wan really uh just helps it not do flake so much and that's what I remember about this it was a little flaky and I was not really happy about it I'm gonna wear test this today and if it ends up being really pretty through the day I'm gonna keep her if not she's gone <laughs> this and some of you have asked um I know some people like really they keep a lot of their products in their collection and that's cool for me if something isn't working in my collection I don't like having it around and yes I have a YouTube channel I'm not like a big youtuber it's my kind of ethos about makeup is like everything should have a place in my collection and use like I should be happy and excited using it and if I'm not happy using it then it's gone I just it needs to go it needs to be moved on to someone who's is going to appreciate it more um and who's actually going to appreciate and use it more than me so it'll things that don't last that I don't like in my collection I pass on okay so I'm putting my hair because I gotta finish my eyes okay so the other new makeup that I picked up is the new Westman Atelier Vital Press Skincare Powder. And I know they had a lot of different colors and I saw another IG beauty content creator, um, Medium Olive Skin. And she had mentioned when I uh, DM'd her that she had used cream, but thought a uh, creme was a kind of like her winter shade, but maybe Dune was her uh, summer shade. So I ended up picking up Dune. So I will be trying that here so this is what the packaging looks like and I think some of you have seen this enough that you know the Westman Atelier package is bar none it's just part of the experience of luxury beauty so here is a little pouch it comes with it's kind of like this blush pink color and here is the packaging it's gorgeous it's this gold reflective compact it's pretty weighty um, it's a bit of a finger magnet, but here is what creme looks like. So I do think it might be too yellow or too deep for me, so we'll try it out. Okay, so I added some mascara. I forgot to do that with this look. So I'm going to open this Westman Atelier pouch. And I remember hearing or reading that the biggest complaint about this packaging is, although it's beautiful, is that it's sometimes hard to open. So unless you have nails, that it can be a challenge to open. So this is what Dune looks like. And then what I'll do is swatch it. So it does look a little orange, so we'll see. What I'll do is kind of do a little bit of um, a spot treatment. So the texture is definitely very slippery. I can notice that it almost feels like it's wet, but it's not at the same time. So maybe that's the skincare part, I'm not sure. But it definitely feels slicker than any other powder that I've used. So let me use, I'm gonna clean this off, my Wayne Goss, my trusty Wayne Goss airbrush, airbrush brush, <laughs> scroll hair. And we'll go in ever so lightly because I think this might be a shade too dark. So just a little bit here. It has a mirror, but it's way too small. And what I had read and heard from a beauty friend is that it wasn't made to be under eyes. So what I'm going to do is just go under where I have pores, which you can see. So I'll get in close. And I have not used any bronzer yet today. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a little bit more on this side. I can see where this is like blurring. Um, 
it's not exactly like the blurring I'm used to, like buffing and blurring powder, like the Chantecaille. Um, I do think the color is not a match for me. It's actually making me a little bit more orangey red, even if I'm going in super light. So now I know I definitely got the wrong color for me. So if you're my shade or deeper, this will maybe work for you if you're going to get deeper. But again, this is probably too, or if you're like my shade or lighter, it probably will be too deep. So you can see it almost could probably, if I wanted to go ham on it, I could use this as a bronzer, but I'm not going to do that because I bought it specifically to be a powder. Um, does it blur? Yeah, there's a little blurring going on. I don't know if I would say it's more blurring than, say, my Hollywood Airbrush Flawless Finish in Medium 2. So Medium 2 is my color for Charlotte Tilbury. This is kind of like my holy grail for pressed powder. And that's a better color for me. Whereas, again, this is probably too deep. Let's take that. Yeah, that's way too deep. I can pick up, let me see what's my other powders. I often use the Pat McGrath powder and I have this in the shade yellow and I use that specifically for under eyes. Medium is better for me all around powder. So definitely much more light and it's definitely more powdery, but it's also very silky. There's almost more slip to it, but it doesn't feel wet. So it feels like definitely more powdery. Um, the medium in this, I can use all over my face. And actually, after this is done, I will buy the medium in this because it looks better for all over my face. So Chantecaille, perfect blurring powder. And I've ugh, panned this for sure. And I'm just going to do a swatch of this if I can. And that's the perfect blurring powder. And then just also grab me my Touche Clots 3D All Over Glow Powder from YSL. This one, I love that as a finishing powder. It has a little bit of glow see there's almost an iridescence to it and really this formula the way it's marketed it's not supposed to be a powder it's like a skincare powder so you know this I don't think we're going to see anything comparable to it at least in terms of the marketing but just wanted to show you can see it's already already too <laughs> it's already too orange for me so we're just going to run with it and let it go I'm going to put my hair back because I did want to just test two more um, lipsticks with you so I Ended up getting, um, the Harrods had a beauty sale up to 50% off. So this is the Ruby Matte, which is this color. And I really love the, the Fito Lip Twist, the ones that are more balmy. So this is number three. This is more of the corally one. You can see it's really balmy. It's my favorite lip product for the summer. And then I have this in number 13 which is more like a pink color, like a hot pink. And I think my favorite one is actually my purse, which I don't know where that is. That's the color nut. So definitely not really summery, but it's the one I have on now. This is, again, this is the matte one, matte 21 ruby. I think it's really pretty, even though it's matte, it's not drying, which, you know, a lot of a lot of makeup companies and lipsticks will say, even though they're matte, they're not drying. Um, well, this is actually true. I've been wearing this all morning. I love Lisa Aldridge. It is matte and it is drying. You got to make sure your lips are really hydrated. Uh, the Givenchy, they had a matte formula. Yes, it's like this is like that Givenchy matte formula. Um the only reason I don't pull for these anymore is that they have a lot of perfume. So that's like a matte brick red. That's, this is definitely more matte uh, moisturizing than this. This definitely feels a little bit dry towards the end, of the end of the day. And I'm trying to think of what other matte lipsticks I have. I'm usually not a matte lipstick person. Um, the only other mattes I have are Charlotte Tilbury. And this is super fabulous. And I would say it's close to the Charlotte Tilbury formula and maybe a little bit even more emollient. So if you're ever interested in the Fito lip twists that are matte from Sisley, this is 21 Ruby. 
really pretty color. I think if um, you're deeper than me, it's going to show up a little bit lighter, which will be really pretty, maybe even more um, berry colored. And then if you're lighter than me, it's going to probably show up even like more va va voom like red. So, so that's that color. And I'm going to take it off and then try the second lipstick I end up getting on sale. Okay, so the second lipstick I ended up getting on sale is this Rouge Hermé Rose Indian 70 Matte. And I got a, another Hermes li uh, lipstick. And I love these if you can find the right one. I don't love all of the formulas or all the colors, but one of my favorite lipsticks in my entire collection is actually an Hermes uh, lipstick, Rose Spice. And I think it's, I can't remember the number, but I ended up getting this on sale. These are usually like a 60 or 70, and I think I got this like for 40 or something like that. So this is uh, again, Rose Indian. It's a beautiful color. It's a fun one for summer. Okay, so let's try that on. I'm actually going to grab a compact I can bring closer to my face. Definitely creamy, definitely matte. Creamy matte for sure. It definitely does look pretty matte. I think this is a beautiful color. It definitely um, covers up my pigmentation I have underneath. I don't have, I don't detect a smell on this. I know some of the Hermes, they have, sometimes they have a smell in the lipstick, but I don't smell that in here. So. I think this is beautiful. This is, uh, I actually think this lipstick looks better with this look here. Let's see. That's even prettier. So I just dabbed a little bit so it comes up, up off a little brighter. Okay, so that's it. I just wanted to come on really quick and show you some of the new makeup I tried. I definitely think, I'm, oh, I feel like kind of like okay with this like 21 lip matte. I just wanted to try Cicely the matte lipstick. I was wearing this for a meeting and then someone was really like really liked the color on me. So I guess that helped. I was a little insecure about like, it's okay because I have a lot of reds, but they thought it suited me because it's more of a berry tone. Um, loving this color. I think it's beautiful. And I'm planning on getting that Lisa Eldridge skyscraper rose color which i think will even be even more neon pink which i'm excited about so i'll be excited to try this indian rose and then comparing it to the lisa eldridge lipstick well i do have some thoughts about the westman atelier i think it's the wrong color for me um if by the end of the summer i'm deeper it'll be it'll be just fine but you know i don't want to spend like you know for the price of this powder it doesn't make sense to keep this if I only can use it for one month in August when I'm deeper. So I think what I'll end up doing is I ended up getting this at Nordstrom. I probably will um, exchange it and then try out the creme for this color because it's definitely the wrong color. But if you're deeper than me, it'll probably work on you. So I hope that helped. And I think, let me know what you think of this eye quad. It's growing on me after I like finished my eye look with mascara, but I just... Yeah, maybe you let me know what you think. I think it looks pretty, but I don't know if I would reach for this very often. Um, okay, that's it. I hope, uh, beauty fam, that you're all good and doing well and that you have fantastic plans for the weekend and that you're enjoying the summer so far. So take good care. Bye.